Greetings, ghosts and ghouls, and welcome to another episode of Undead Gaming. I am the Undead Gamer, and we are continuing with Tormentum. So we last left off, we somehow got captured in some weird hell castle for being allegedly evil, but as is conveniently enough, our protagonist has no memories whatsoever. We managed to escape from our cage and are roaming around the castle trying to help out and free our otter friend who is stuck in a cage. And uh, we've been tasked by a jester to kill a witch, which I presume is this woman in the cage. So, uh, time to figure out what we're going to do in this room because there's really no other place we can go. So let's see here. What can I interact with? Oh, there's a nice woman figure in the wall there. The device doesn't work. If you value your life, keep away from this door until it's repaired. Thanks, friend. Can I... Who are you? Coming nearer may end badly for you, human. If I don't kill you, the spider living behind that door will. His limbs are filled with poison. Its tiniest drop would end your miserable existence in a blink of an eye. With this substance, I created poison arrows and blades for the castle. The mechanism responsible for the maintaining the right conditions in the room has broken. The poison flowing down the spider's legs into the grate in the floor has stopped being pumped into the pipes. The flow of poison flow is only possible with the door securely locked. The device in need of repair is down in the castle sewers, but the entry is flooded. Goodness, you you really are worded. <laughs> now I must guard this room until the issue is resolved. Should the door open any further, the spider could attack. But why am I telling you this? Leave and don't waste my time, human. Well, aren't you absolutely precious? So, okay, so... Hmm. It's a, just an information... Okay, so a spider's in there. There's a poison thing going on. This mechanism isn't broken, so I'm assuming we need to fix it. I'm guessing we want to free it. If I speak to you, do you just say the same thing? Yeah, you just tell me the same thing. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so fill the poison. So you, Yeah, so this is probably where I'm going to get the poison for... Um, to take care of that weird creature thing. Yeah, so into a gray on the floor um so does it mean the pipes have poison in them it's possible so we need to get into the sewer can i speak to the woman though better not test the guard's patience i don't want to end up back in the cell again so i'm gonna have to free the spider because it'll attack the creature and then uh huh i don't see anything else in here so this is technically another dead end. Fantastic. Okay, so I am missing something. What if I talk to the jester again? Hey, buddy. What are you waiting for? Go and kill that witch. All right, well, you are not helpful at all. And I can't mess with you. I need to... But I can't grab that either. Do I have anything? I have a broken medallion. That doesn't do much. All right, let me... uh. Let me go into this thing. Maybe I wasn't paying attention to this thing as well as I thought it was. So, the scale is empty. What if I put a medallion in it? Yeah, I know. Can I put anything on it? No. Okay. Just go back in. Alright. What's up here? There's a statue behind the wall that seems to be alive. It's watching my every move. I f so, I have to, like... Okay, so I need the thing from the dog bowl to put on this, probably to continue, because there's like a scale thing. I can't, I can't actually pass through here. Oh wait, I could. Alright, never mind. I guess it's making sure I'm not going down the hole. Alright, so we got another room, we got this rotating thing here, we got a plaque here. Um, the door itself, and then we got this creature with a special necklace. Let's talk to the creature. They let you filthy humans just wander around the castle like that? So, you says you have to get into this room here? 
What for? All you will find there is an old broken furnace. Well, I can let you in, but there's nothing for free. If you want to get there, I have a little favor to ask of you. Ooh, man. Find the place on the drawing and dig at the point I marked for you. Unfortunately, I myself can't venture there. I was told one of the prisoners hid something interesting there. Bring this to me, and then we'll talk. Okay. Oh, so I got myself a shovel. I'll pick that up. And I think the drawing is, yeah, it's that couple. So there's something there I gotta dig. Alright, fair enough, and I'll give it to him. Uh, Alright, thanks, Goblin Dude. I. Alright, what is that exactly? So this seems to be like a puzzle of sorts. I'm gonna have to, like, stop things. I can see a hand shaped indentation in the middle. There are rings. The There are rings that are spinning around it, but I can't stop them. Alright. It's like a slot machine kind of thingy. Okay, so this is just telling me fire. Sure. Okay. Oh, I just realized, though, when you go into another room, yeah, the little loading screen thing kind of shows what room you're going into, which is nice. So, yeah, I'm in the devil guardian chamber thing. So, right here, yeah, there should be something for me to dig. So, let's dig that up. What have I found? Okay, let's look inside. Mm, something's glowing. I've uncovered a rather impressive lump of gold. Interesting. All right. And it looks like every time I use an item that that serves its purpose, it just leaves my inventory. So there's no like weird clutter. And thus, I believe, I guess the items are all one-time use only. Or it might have multiple uses. It's just when I finally use it last. But so far, everything has been one time. So uh, let's bring out the gold and give it to him. Gold, as I thought. The fool spoke the truth before he died after all. See? You did prove yourself useful. Take this necklace. It's a key to the room next to you. Excellent. So we have... So I'm going to assume that we use the necklace because it... Oh, well, do I just click on this? Okay, never mind. I thought it would help me go into that room. But I don't seem to have the necklace unless it's like automatically equipped. Okay, ha have you spoken to my brother, the Halberder? He guards the room with the spider, which makes the poison for our weapons. Okay, yeah, I have spoken to your brother. Uh, I thought the necklace might have been used for that, but I don't seem to be able to use it, so... Alright, let's go over here, and is there anything I can do? I don't have... Hmm... Interesting. Can I grab this? Oh, I've picked up the great weight. All right. That's uh, interesting. Oh, I need both weights to bring that thing down. Okay. Gotcha. Fair enough. All right. So this is supposed to help me get across the room. I have a piece of weight. I have my key, the key thing, and I have a broken medallion. Um. Hmm, interesting. Let me actually go back to the... I'm going to go back to the other room. Let me make sure I, I explored everything correctly. Could I use the key on this? No, it won't help me. What about the medallion? I mean, the, it's broken. I doubt it would actually be of use. Hmm, interesting. I'm not sure. and I hope I have the key. I hope it didn't just bug out on me or something, because that would be stupid. Oh. Oh, okay, that's that was particularly annoying. He threw it on the ground. Okay. Alright, I thought he, like, automatically gave it to me, but because there's, like, no actual movement of the characters, it just faded out from his neck and went to the ground, so... That was particularly annoying, but at least it didn't, I didn't waste too much time. So, let's use this medallion. Uh, and I pre Okay, I'm gonna have to turn things to match up okay so do i just have to match everything up is there a particular spot that it wants to be in or is it okay i'm gonna assume that it's okay 
Can I turn all of this? Okay, the outer one I cannot turn, so I have to match it up to the outer one. So let's kind of work from there backwards. Um, no. No. Oh, uh, no. Oh, uh, no. Okay, so I think that's that, and then... I don't think I've gotten it yet. Uh, no. No, and I'm pretty sure I've turned it around all, all, as much as I'm supposed to. So let me kind of... Oh, I think I had it in the moment. Let me see. Yeah, okay. So this matches up. So let's... Mm, okay, let's sort of match them up this way. Okay, like that. Does No, that doesn't match up. Okay, no, that doesn't match up. Does it match up? No, it doesn't. It's hard to tell because these things are so monstrous that it's difficult to... Okay, so this is the order of things. So let me move it about. I feel like it takes a while, but... All right. Um, Maybe this pattern. There we go. All right, it wasn't hard. It was just kind of like figuring out because they were like weird, monstrous hands. So like some of them look like they work together, which I, yeah, I'm i sure it was intentional, but overall not too bad. Just kind of trial and error, which seems to be most of the puzzle. A lot of the puzzle seems to be trial and error, which isn't too bad. It, it seems to be less of like, oh, you should have had this for this and combine this and this um, and more like. You need some of these things. It's like in the next room you'll get it. Now you just have to kind of trial and error to see what works. But it doesn't seem too ridiculous. But who knows? This game is still early in the game. I'm not really sure how long the game is. But uh, yeah, whatever. We'll continue and see how it goes. So, um, alright. So we have a couple things in this room here. We got this breaker box. There are weights inside made from some kind of strange metal. Uh, so I'm going to take all the weights because I'm going to assume I'm going to use that to go under into the probably the basement where the sewer is or something. I have to, in any case, I have to pass the statue. Uh, we got ourselves a bone here. Maybe this is what I use to distract the monster in the throne room because he's like a dog kind of creature, right? Um, I have no idea what this is. Oh, nothing happened. There must be something missing. Okay, so I need to put something there, and I don't... Th is it a bone? No. Yeah, and just as I was saying, like, oh, we don't need to, like, start putting things together or testing out items, immediately have to start doing that. But I don't think it's another. I'm probably missing it. And, oh, wait, I already got that. Can I close this? It's empty. I will need something to light the furnace. Okay. Oh, I think someone was burned in there, and that's why there was a bone. Um, what's this? If I want to start the furnace, then I need to find the valve. Oh, interesting. Okay, so there's a couple things missing. There's something that needs to go in the middle part. There has to be something here to light the furnace. Whatever goes here is probably the thing that's to be burned up, and I need to actually connect it. Oh, here's some instructions. So, someone mark the key elements on the furnace of the sketch. So, this needs two things. Maybe the medallion, because the medallion is like two halves. Oh, and it does have like a fire symbol. So, I think this is the two pieces of the medallion. This is some kind of fire source that I need. Um, and this actually could also be the medallion. Um, and this is the valve. So I need those three components. And I believe, does it get, yeah, it got saved. So, um, excellent. So uh, I think that's everything I need in this room. We have, to go, we have to go hunt down for some stuff. So let's go back. Let's head on back to the throne room and see if the bone will distract our little uh, monster friend. All right, let's check this out. So I'm gonna use the bone. Uh, what if I put it in the bowl? All right, so I picked up the weight, I put the bone down and he's not gonna bother me, excellent. So I'm gonna go back to this room and I'm gonna start putting the weights down now. I So I got five weights, let me see if I put one down. Two. Oh, okay, I need to put it in a certain way to make sure three, four? Five. Huh. No. So, let me see. Interesting. I don't think it matters. I'm just going to test something out real quick. Um, 
Oh, okay. So there is like a. I do have to actually put the weight down somewhere because I was like wondering about the the final eye. So there we go. So I had to put three there and two here. Excellent. Okay. The statue doesn't see me anymore. I think it's safe to walk downstairs. Okay. So we're gonna go down and see what's down there. Ooh, this is a nice looking room. So we got a couple. We got like some paintings here, and we got a locked door and a pathway going down. And there's like these picturesque of possibly two women or well, they're two entities of any sort. So let's look at the pictures real quick. So we got this nice, is it, I think it's like a weird couch thing. I'm um, not really sure what it is. It's a, oh, of some kind of organs. Oh, okay, so I was thinking maybe it was like a piano kind of thing, but it would, the keys weren't well defined enough. And I think that is a ruby eye. Okay, so do we need an eye for anything? I don't think so. Not that I've seen yet. Um, we got another painting thing here with another eye. And uh, it's a disturbing painting depicting giants. Okay, so yeah, there's some people there, and there's a bunch of giants moving about. All right. Uh, let's look up here. There are stairs behind the door leading down. Um, oh, wait. Is that the valve? It is. All right, so we got ourselves a valve. We got the valve. So we need to... Uh, the other... Either the other piece of medallion, if that's the two things I need to go in the furnace and we need a source of fire so nothing else we can do in this room so we're gonna go ahead downstairs Ooh, oh it's my buddy the night of torture <clears throat> puny beings each time the blades penetrate your flesh you are being freed from the evil that has hatched deep within you Every suffering has meaning, and the meaning for your suffering is to see the truth about yourself. Do not struggle, confess! You willingly condemned yourself to the suffering by following unrighteous paths, but I am here to help you. I shall free you from all evil. Well, aren't you, uh, a nice, such a nice person? So, we got this weird inquisitor... Uh, kind of nonsense going on. This guy's being tortured. I'm so sorry, buddy. So, okay, let's check out... That will lead back up. We got ourselves a piece of paper here. Strange illustration may prove useful. I'll notate. Okay. There are two kinds of pain. Physical pain and pain of the mind. Yet, can there be greater torture than suddenly realizing hope is but the illusion of a sick mind? The night cannot be that black that one may not see but a single star. Interesting. So, there's this design here and i have the medallion that kind of has that same design so there's two kinds of pain one is physical and one is mine uh mental you can there can yet yeah, can there be a greater torture than suddenly realizing hope is but the illusion of a sick mind so saying if you're hopeful you are a delirious and sick person then i cannot be that black that one may not see but a single star interesting well at least we have it jotted down um that look goes down. I'm assuming that's going to lead to the sewer where I'll handle the whole spider issue. What is this? There are some switches inside. Um. Oh. Okay. Can I de... Oh, am I trying to, like, deactivate this? Okay. I don't particularly know. Oh. Wait, is the beeping, like, trying to tell me? Let me see if I reset it. Okay. Okay. It brings it back up. Interesting. I'm not really sure. I might be doing this completely wrong. Some of them blink and some of them do not. And that, honestly disturbs me but i don't think i have anything that's like gonna tell me how to solve that so and i doubt i can interact yeah i can't interact with anything because i just can't actually access it which is, is fine um all right we're gonna come back to this because i'm not entirely sure how to solve that let's go into the sewer for, uh, first and just see what we can do there oh this is great okay if i go this way that's gonna lead me to the guy up there um, alright. So let's go check this, the little switch thing going on. Huh. Okay. There's something missing here. Perhaps if I found the missing part, the machine would drain the water from the flooded tunnel. I see. Okay. 
So we got some. We gotta get find a missing gear to put there. So I can't go into the. To that into the little pit area. I can't go down the, the ladder. Um, if I go up, it should tell me. I'm gonna go right in front. Of, oh, he's right there. Oh, do I just take the key? I have to distract the guard somehow first. Only then will I be able to take the key unnoticed. I mean, I'm doing a pretty good job. He has not noticed that I'm right there. So I think I could have ended up like this had I not escaped the cell. Yeah, that would have been really bad. Okay, so I have to distract him somehow, which does mean I have to solve that puzzle over there. Fantastic. Sure, why not? All right. Okay, so obviously... Let me reset this. Obviously, these have some kind of connotation. Some kind of... It's trying to tell me something. Um, I gotta figure out what. So, let me see. Maybe this is one. Um, let me see. And I don't think I saw anything that kind of gave me a hint. So, I'm gonna hit that. That go. Okay, so that goes down by two. If I hit it again, it goes down by two. If I touch this, it goes up by one, and they go down by two. They each go up by one. Hmm. So, interesting. Like, if I do this, because I'm assuming I'm going to have to grab the gears or something. And if I do this, if I do this, this... I am quite confused. Hmm. And I... Oh, wait a minute. I just noticed something. These... The thing is going on a specific, like, um... What do you call it? Like, this goes all the way down. And this... Oh, they have to go a certain height. Okay. I understand. So, okay, that's kind of interesting. So, this one, for example, has to go... So, as soon as the red... Oh, I have to make the connection. So, this one has to be able to go down once. This one does have to be all the way to the top. So, me lowering it down um, is probably best. This is getting really frustrating. Perhaps I should look around the castle for possible clues. But I think I got it. I just got to figure out a way, the right order of things. So... Okay, so let me reset this. I'm going to reset it. I'm going to lower this all the way down. So there's going to be some trouble around. I might cut this, depending on how long it takes me to solve it, but I think I got it. So I just need to make it so, you know, it kind of makes a red line all the way across. So this needs to go down once. This needs to go down three times. This needs to go down once. This needs to go down twice. So as soon as I click this, it will be at its appropriate spot. These, however, are odd, so that means I have to lower them, and then they have to go up the a certain amount. So, okay, this is going to be interesting. So, let's see here. This goes down. Uh, okay, so this one down. Hmm. Alright, so let me see, uh... Let me try this. Let me try that. Oh, I did it. All right, cool. All right. Didn't have to move the second one at all. All right, so welcome back, you guys. I've gone ahead and uh, solved the puzzle. So, fantastic. Um, it didn't take... I took like, I don't know, like 15 minutes or something, just messing around with them, trying to find the right order. But I managed to get it through, so we're all, we are good. All right, so, uh, oh, let's see here. So, death, no death. Okay, so this controls the sp uh, springing mechanism. So, I presume if I press this, it will stop the torturing. It does seem like I stopped. Okay, so yeah, I stopped it, and he's like trying to figure out why it's not working. So we're going to quickly go underground. Head on over to the other side. And...
Someone's, oh no, the key is not on his person. The guard is busy fixing the machine. It would be unwise to attract his attention. Oh, the key fell. Man, that's, uh, so far that's the only thing I'm bothered by this game is the fact that, like, I can't see these little things sometimes it, there's so much detail to everything and everything just draws my attention that trying to find a specific thing in like the vastness of detail in this game is is sometimes hard if i'm not if i don't realize something is actually there all right so we have this key um the guard key so all right we're gonna go back underground and i'm not actually sure what the key is for i mean it's supposed to go into that um it's supposed to go into the uh, the, the spider room, but uh, I don't have a means of of like dealing with it. And I doubt, yeah, no, there must be a smarter solution. I, look, I'm just testing things out, force of habit. Um, so we have that. We're not gonna bother him. We're gonna return back above, and I gotta figure out what to do. Um, that's like a stair room. I, does the key work for that? No, it's not. Let me put that back. Oh! Damn, alright, there's another passageway. Ooh, that looks... That looks nice. Alright, what's in here? Okay, so this is where the medallion goes. Um, and I presume... The orbs might be no, no. The medallion goes here. There seems to be something missing, so I need the other piece of the medallion to go there to open that. Okay, all right. Um, I don't think there's much else I can do because I can't actually go in there. I don't know if that guy's alive or not. It's hard to tell when your walls are monstrous. Oh, this is interesting. Neat. All right, so we have a, a stone plaque. It says like a it looks like a cauldron of sorts. It's got a face here. Um, we have this woman with the lock on it. Does the spider key work? No, can't do that. Does the blade key work? No, there must be another way. Okay. All right, no problem. Oh, hey, what's this? We got ourselves the key. See, when they shine, it's fine, because I can actually see them, but when it's, like, just dropped on the floor hiding. Alright, so we're gonna grab the key. Punishment number 431. For the attempted act of treason of preparing poisoned meat, the castle cooks are hereby punished by being fused into the wall for eternity. We are all prisoners, but some must also take the shape of their prison to understand their sin. Wow. Okay, so these people who are in the walls are the cooks who are being punished interesting okay so we're gonna use that key does that key work for this it does okay it breathes fresh air what a relief thank you for freeing me from this darkness no problem buddy i was turned into a window then they put a wall in front of me my brother was turned into a door which they then cut into pieces it's a punishment we've been suffering for time untold. Oh, so that's your brother over there. Sorry about that. If you want to get inside the kitchen, you still have to help my brother. Only he can let you in. Find him among body parts nearby, and he'll be able to let you inside. Okay, find him among body parts nearby. He has a big, wide, open eyes... A long nose which lets him smell everything inside the castle. He is not very talkative, though. His mouth is always shut. Okay, so he has big white eyes, a long nose, but no mouth. So I'm assuming we need to move this about of sorts. Oh, it stopped. Oh, wait. Oh, I drag it about. Okay, so let me drag it. I'm going to use the seam of that. I'm a long nose. There we go. I found the walled being's brother. He should let me in the kitchen now. Excellent. I freed your brother. My brother is old again. We'll never regain our real form, but now at least we'll be together. Oh, that's sweet. I'm at least happy I could have helped you out, buddy. All right, so we're going inside into the cauldron room. And there's a couple things in here. We're going to get ourselves, it looks like a lantern. This light might come in use. I agree. 
Spoon is cracked. There's a bucket with a hole in it. It's a bunch of useless nonsense. But, uh, let's see here. What's in the sink here? A leather belt. Okay, sure. Got some nice little hooks here. Um, we got a paper. Let's let's check out this paper. So, the recipe for the poison. It seems I'm not the only one having a problem with this monster. It's already noted. Okay, so we got meat and... Uh, is that... Oh, the spider stingers. I need... Uh, I guess they get the poison from one of the spider's legs. So, we need meat and the spider's poison. It gets boiled. And then we feed that to the giant penis monster and death. Excellent. So, we need meat and... We need one of the spider's things. So for the spider's thing, I need to actually fix the... The, uh... I have to go into the sewers and kind of fix the weird issue that they're having. So but so I need a gear for that. Well, what's in the cauldron? To prepare the poison, I need something more than just water. Yeah, I need... What's this? It doesn't work. I need to find a device that will light the fire. Oh, okay. So there's a lot... I'm always getting more tasks to do than I have the ability to uh, to solve. Found a horn skull. I guess that will come in handy. Got a... Okay, the inventory is definitely building up now. Jeez. What's in here? Uh, looks like another horn skull. I'm going to assume we need that for something. Uh, what's over here? A skinning knife. Wow, we have weapons. You can just fight these creatures. Um, so it looks to me like we did everything. The sink is empty, nothing interesting. Shelf is, I'm glad it, um, once I've done what I need to do with the thing, it doesn't let me, like, zoom in again. It's just like, alright, you're done, because it, it would just waste time. And I appreciate that. Appreciate that greatly. Alright, so, I'm gonna go back in here. Is there another room that I'm not knowing about? No. Alright, so... Okay, so we have a bit more exploring to do because we need to figure out what exactly I'm supposed to do. So this is probably a good point to end things. So uh, thanks everyone for watching. Take care.